Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed. And today we are here exploring the Castro District in San Francisco, California. Hey there you guys, we are here at the heart of the Castro. More specifically, we are right here at Harvey Milk Plaza, which is right outside of the Castro Muni Station here in the city. This area right here is very prominent as there is a huge flagpole with the rainbow flag that stands right above the plaza and station. Coming up from the plaza, you can also find Soul Cycle, which is a chain that offers cycling sessions and it's really popular here at the Castro. If we turn around, we can instantly start to see all the different uh, restaurants, shops, etc. The plan for today is to walk around the Castro and visit all the different iconic locations in this area, including restaurants, businesses, and historical sites. Basically, checking out what is there to do and to see at the Castro. So if you're interested, come with me. As you've been able to see, the rainbow flag is spread out all throughout this community. It is present in many different forms, shapes, and sizes. Right now, I made it to this place where it tells you how it all started. This plaque right here tells the story of how the rainbow flag came to be. It was the, the work of Mr. Gilbert Baker who created it in the 1970s. And today, it has become a symbol for the LGBTQ plus community all around the world. This mural right here was created in 2017 to honor Mr. Baker and his contribution in the struggle for equality. This building right here was actually used as the meeting place where Mr. Baker, his friends, and people from all across the community would come and gather to plan and discuss initiatives to help their cause. For this reason, uh, this particular building is considered a historical landmark here at the Castro and a lot of people come and take pictures next to the mural. So we're walking up from 17th. Um, wow. We're going back to the main area in the Castro, the, the area where we were at the beginning of the video. And um, before we get there, I would like to talk about um, Harvey Milk. I know uh, we've been mentioning his name um, throughout this video, so I just wanted to give a little context about why he is so important to this community. Harvey Milk was a photographer, a business owner, a gay rights activist, and he was also the first openly gay elected official in the state of California. I was reading about him and for me it was really interesting to learn that despite all the things he accomplished in his life and all the things he is known for, he was not open about his sexuality nor civically active until he was 40. It makes you think, it's never too late to make a change and start fighting for what you believe. As I mentioned before, Milk was the first openly gay elected official in the state of California. However, he did not serve for too long. Milk and the current mayor at the time were both assassinated by another city supervisor. Milk is considered a hero, an icon, and a martyr of this community and is still remembered till this day. We're walking up uh, to the main area in the Castro. We found this sign right here that shows uh, Harvey Milk as the main symbol of this event that is going to take place soon. There are also many other areas and structures that carry his name today, including the plaza we were in at the beginning. We will be visiting some of these places as we continue exploring this neighborhood. So let's go! What I'm thinking right now is that I want to walk around a little bit and show you some of the 
famous restaurants that you can find here at the Castro. The first place that I would like to talk about is Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks is this uh, bar right here, restaurant bar right here, which you can see it's right across from the Harvey Milk Plaza. What makes this place unique is that uh, Twin Peaks was actually the first openly gay bar restaurant that opened here in this area. Back in the day, gay establishments did not want to be the main point of focus but when Twin Peaks was established they threw that out the window. As you can see this place has very wide windows and it's really easy to look inside. This was done on purpose because they were not afraid to show their pride. The next restaurant that I would like to talk about is Orphan Andy's. This is a 24-7 uh, diner that offers breakfast, lunch and dinner. Let me tell you guys this is one of my favorite places. It offers so many options for fattening and delicious foods. So strongly recommend. The next restaurant is a burger chain that is called Super Duper. The unique thing about this particular one right here is that it was the very first one to be established here at the Casper. The next establishment that I want to talk about is a cookie shop called Hot Cookie and Hot Cookie is very famous here at the Castro. Hot Cookie is famous for having very delicious cookies and pastries. Not only that, but it's also famous for having cookies in very suggestive, naughty shapes and I'll just leave it at that but you should come check it out. In the Castro you can also find different stores and restaurants with very funny and suggestive names. Some of which include Slurp, Quickie, Moby Dick, Does Your Mother Know, Sausage Factory, Handjob, Papi Rico, and Daddy's Barbershop. Okay you guys, we've had our fun. The next thing that I want to do is go ahead and visit some of the historical locations here at the Castro District. But first, I'm getting really thirsty so I'm going to visit this Starbucks right here. Uh, get a drink and catch you guys right after. I know Starbucks might sound like a very basic place to come um, but what makes this Starbucks right here uh, unique is the fact that they're not afraid to show the support for the LGBTQ plus community. Inside we were able to see um, some flags with encouraging messages from people visiting uh, San Francisco as well as, as well as members of this community. The next place that I would like to talk about is the Castro Theater. This place right here is one of the most representative sites here at the Castro District. Not only because of how long it's been here, but also because of many different events that take place uh, right here. Some of the events that take place here include early showings for movies, uh, film festivals, and movie sing-alongs. And if you don't know what a sing-along is, it's basically a movie show that uh, people can go ahead and sing together. It's a very interactive experience and I strongly recommend uh, coming uh, to see one. Uh, the last time that I came here for a sing-along, it was for Bohemian Rhapsody and uh, it was a really cool experience for me specifically because I really liked the band and I knew most of the songs so it was really cool to sing along uh, many people at the same place. Moving to either side of the Castro Theater, you'll be able to find some plaques on the floor. These plaques are part of the rainbow uh, on our walk. This is basically like the star walk of fame in uh, Hollywood in Los Angeles. Earlier today as we were walking, we were able to see a lot of these plaques on the ground. We just stopped for a little while to read them and learn a little bit about these people who made a difference for the LGBTQ plus community. We are crossing the street right now and as you can see, this crosswalk is not like any other. This is actually a landmark here at the Castro District. This crosswalk right here is known as the Rainbow Crosswalk for obvious reasons as it alludes to the colors of the rainbow flag which is a symbol for the LGBTQ plus community. Another historical location that I wanted to come and visit here at the Castro is the Human Rights Campaign and Action Center. This was Harvey Milk's house and photography business. Not only that, but this place also served as a meeting place for multiple different initiatives that he and others created. Currently, it is also a store where you can buy different like shirts and items 
to help support and fund the campaigns that are taking place today. The last place that I wanted to, to show you guys is a place uh, called uh, Pink Triangle Park here at the Castro. This site serves as a memorial for the uh, homosexual men who died during the Nazi regime. And let me show you real quick. Pink Triangle Park uh, features these triangle shaped columns as you can see right here. Uh, there's 15 of these. Each of these columns represents uh, a thousand homosexual men that were killed during the Nazi regime and uh, this place is uh, serving as a memorial to remind people about the atrocities that happened during that time. I know the video is about to, to end um, and I really hate to end in this note, uh, in a sad note like this one, but um, I really didn't know about this place before coming here today and uh, I really didn't think it was fair to, to leave it out so I decided to come here even though if it was the last thing that I would show you guys but um, I don't know, I, I think we can still leave in a positive note uh, let me show you why At the north side of the park you can find this uh, triangle here on the ground this triangle is filled with different um, gemstones these gemstones are uh, made out of rose quartz, so they, they're pink. And uh, the people that come here and visit are encouraged to take one home uh, to serve as a reminder of what the horrible things that happened in the past and also to honor the people who passed uh, during that time. So uh, we are grabbing one, taking it home to remember the time that we came and visited this place and remember all of those people who unfortunately passed during that time all right you guys that is all from me today hopefully you guys enjoy coming along with me as always uh, i had a blast bringing you guys with me if you like this video please go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one always remember to be kind have an open mind i'll see you next time